All right, good morning. So we are gonna have shrimp for lunch and all those shrimp we caught up on the north end of the island uh, are going in the pot today. So I just wanted to share a little bit how we, how we do that. And uh, we got the water cooking back here. So come on and we'll show you the simple ingredients. So basically you need a pot, a fire, water, and salt. So rule of thumb is about a cup of water for every gallon. Um, you want it at least as salty as the ocean uh, to taste. So once you pour salt in there, you can, you can taste it and see how salty it is. Um, but the saltier, the better for crab and shrimp. Uh, I don't use anything else, no, um, seasonings or anything like that, just plain white salt. And you can use sea salt or, you know, this is Morton salt. So we're just, we got about a gallon and a half in there. So we're really going to lace it in there. And again, everything is to taste. I'm not a chef. I just like seafood and I like it the way we eat it. So I'm going to stop there. It's about a cup and I'm actually going to taste it. Needs more. So it seems like a lot of salt, but it pays off in the end. It's getting there. Almost there. The thing with shrimp is they cook quickly, very quickly. I'm going to go just a touch more. So on a, when you're boiling them, you know, the old movie Forrest Gump, you can do so many things with shrimp. It's true. Um, I like them boiled cause it's easy. You can just bring the pot out on the back deck of the marina and and uh, light it up and boil it. You drop the shrimp in for two minutes, no more. And right at two minutes at a boil, they'll all be floating on top of the surface. And that's it. Get them out of there, throw them on ice and cool them down. Um, and then they'll peel really easy. We'll show you how to peel them. Uh, we can use our Traeger and we do smoked shrimp. And of course you can saute them. Um, I've heard of many different different things. And let me grab this really quick while we're talking about it. So in Alaska, we do a lot of pickling. We pickle salmon, black cod. Uh, these are shrimp that have been pickled that are amazing. So they have a lot of dill and, and vinegar and that, that great pickled flavor. So there's many things you can do with shrimp. We're not going to show you this because it's a full on, takes a few hours to really do the whole process, but Maybe one of our future videos will will highlight that and how, how to pickle shrimp. But that's how they come out after they've been pickled for about two weeks. So today we're going to boil them. So we're just waiting for our shrimp, our water to boil and we'll toss them in and kind of show you that process. All right. So all of our shrimp have been cleaned and but not shelled. Um, we're going to dump them in and cook them with the shells on. We'll clean them afterwards. So just want to make sure your your water is boiling, which it is. And I'm just going to drop them in carefully without burning myself. And two minutes is all you need. So we're going to look at the clock. And as soon as it starts boiling, we got two minutes. Now the waiting begins. All right, we're done.
All right, so there's a, a bowl full. We're gonna throw it in the freezer for just a little bit, let everything cool down so we can handle them and then we'll peel them and eat them. Okay, I'll find one here and kind of show you how to peel them. Basically, you want to go about two or three shell pieces up. Just squeeze and pull, and it pulls that whole back end off. And that that's with the two-minute cooking. And then you just spread the rest of it with your fingers and pull out the meat. So we'll do that one more time. If you cook them longer than two minutes, they will cook to the shell and you basically won't be able to get them out. They'll stick right to the shell and you'll have to dig and dig and dig to get them out. So two minutes, they're done, they're tasty, and they're easy to shell. If you are going to take the shells off, deshell them before you cook, put them in the freezer for about 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, and get them kind of partially frozen, and that's raw, so once they're partially frozen, they're easier to shell. So 10, 15 minutes in the freezer, then you can shell them, especially if you're gonna saute or skewer them. There's worse things to do than stand out and look at this view and shell cooked shrimp. Some people eat those eggs, but not me. No, thank you. I'm not a big seafood egg connoisseur. I fished as a young kid. <laughs> is a young lad all the way through high school and I use putskis. Most of you guys my age know what those are. They're salmon eggs that have been jarred for fish and trout and different things. Every every egg I've eaten tastes just like putskis smell. So you you guys know what I'm talking about. So I, I just caviar, none of it I can't eat. And putskis is the reason why. So we just got done de-shelling. Uh, that's about half of the catch we got uh, the other day on one soak. And uh, we boiled these, added some salt, and we're just gonna eat them like that. A lot of us up here in catch can just, we'll eat them right out of the shell and stand there and have a conversation. And uh, it's kind of a treat for us. So, but definitely good on a salad. Um, put a few on a salad with blue cheese crumbles and. Fresh veggies, they're, they're awesome. So a little citrus uh, added on top. But yeah, that's what we do with the, the spotted prawns. That's what these were. All right, so if you liked this video, hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, be back next week. We'll probably be outside doing something around Alaska. But in the meantime, enjoy your uh, seafood. We better replay that last part so you need another one.